Hi. Hmm. I'm holding a mug that I got from a wonderful woman. Her name's Andrea. And she is doing amazing work with an endeavor called Be Zero Waste. Be Zero Waste. And you can flutter over to her Instagram, Be Zero Waste Girl, if you want to learn all that she shares. I'm holding her love in my hand. She actually didn't make this. Um, let me see if I'll remember. Two cups full? Two hands full or two cups full made this handmade pottery cup. Andrea, maybe you can correct me in the comments below. Um, this is not so much an advertisement at all as it is a heart-to-heart -heart sharing. I so value how Andrea's work is helping people think about what they're using and if they really need to be creating extra waste. But I'm holding this cup because I still need courage when I come and poem. And holding her cup is like holding a friend. And I come to this video today with a little bit of sharing from my heart to yours. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and start, even though I don't really know where it's going to go. I'm sorry that I ever looked to see who liked smiled, frowned, or clicked. I'm sorry that it ever mattered that I really thought there was a way to show up online and then do it better. <laughs> I'm saddened that I put so much thought into well, they're not clicking like. Am I not doing it? Is that true? Am I not doing it right? Is that true? Oh, I'm fumbling for words, but the truth of it is, I put too much thought on, is this the way to do it? But step way back and let's take a look at that. Isn't everyone wondering a little bit about am I doing womanhood right? I'm certain it's not just me and I'm certain that that question shows up in lots of things. I don't want to be sharing on Facebook or anywhere because it's what you're supposed to do every day. I don't want to ever build up a following. Lots of people have challenged me on that. Um, I don't want people to think I know more than them on something. At best, I want to show you what I do to help me bulldoze fear. At best, I want to show you what I do to overcome and say, yes, you can. But everywhere I turn, does this question still come up? Am I doing it right? And how I heal that is tree. What do you know about love? Now, that's a big leap, but let me show you what I just did. If you shift the focus from, am I doing something right, to how love is, 
It puts you in fifth gear to just be love no matter what. It puts you in fifth gear and more, I drive a stick shift, um, to try to do your best because it's just what love does. But what's our best and what does love look like? And what does love look like now? Should we all be opening up our doors and inviting every refugee in somehow? I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to shelter. And then I learned how I could shelter in my thinking by the love that I outpour. But I'm sorry that I ever thought there was a strategy online. And I'm sorry that I ever followed A-listers who everybody said was doing it right. So many people have reinvented themselves as they should. We're not supposed to get stuck in forms of this is what to do. We're supposed to be evolving. We're supposed to be doing things different. And everybody should be reinventing themselves. If not once, twice, two, and you know, even ten. Clearly, I've been rambling, and clearly, this is a plane that needs to be landing. But my heart to yours never overthink, am I doing it right? Your precious life matters. Our lives matter so much. Hmm. <laughs> That's all I got for tonight. Big love.